most religious person, or should I say most people, thought that humans came to Earth just like how we are. Back then they used to say whatever you see, from plants, animals to humans, they came to Earth just like this. Religious people believe all humans came from Adam and Eve. This idea came from the Jewish religion to the Christian religion, then Islam. Everything was going like this until someone named Charles Darwin was born. Before Charles Darwin, some people believe that people and animals change. Like for example, humans got smarter. Animals change, but nobody really knew the reason. And even if someone knew the reason, they would not dare speak about it. But Charles Darwin was the first person to officially say that evolution is real and humans, animals, and plants, all of them, go through evolution. And he said the reason is natural selection. Natural selection basically means in your genome, there's gonna be some small changes to help you survive better. Meaning, your genes adapt to your environment to make your life easier and make you survive longer. Basically, your gene adapts to its environment and passes it along. But where did Darwin get this idea? Did he make it up? No, we have to get back to 1831 when Charles Darwin was 22 years old and he was studying geology at the University of Cambridge. Since Darwin was a smart student, he took the attention of the professors over there. And the University of Cambridge had a plan to send this ship all over the world so they can research everywhere. Darwin started its journey with the Beagle ship. This ship starts from England and this is the route it takes. This trip takes five years, meaning from 1831 all the way to 1836. The first stops were in South America. They would get off at different points and they would research everywhere. With the fossils they found in the different parts of South America, it really got serious. And the idea of evolution became brighter and brighter in Darwin's head. The first fossil that really took Darwin's attention was the Mylodon fossil, which is an extinct animal. But the weird thing is, the bones really was comparable to the sloth bone. Darwin really thought about it. Why is this giant extinct animal have the same bone structure as this little guy? He was really thinking about evolution until they got to Ecuador, specifically the Galapagos Islands. Galapagos Islands look like this. They are all separated and on them lives a bunch of tortoises that used to be one species but since they were separated from one another and the separation was like millions of years, the tortoises on different islands differ from one another. If Darwin was doubting himself about evolution, this island really proved him wrong. When the research was finished in 1836, Darwin and the Beagle ship set sail back to England. But Darwin wasn't finished with his work about evolution and he wanted to get back to research more about this topic. When he got back to England, he really put his focus onto different types of birds. He noticed that in England, there are different types of breeders that breed birds and make them look different from one another. This idea really moved Darwin as well. He said, how is it possible for humans to make different types of birds? So why doesn't nature do that? Nature does it 
but it takes a really long time. Not only with birds, but with all types of animals. He took his focus off only birds and started researching different types of animals. And he realized for animals to stay alive, they adapt to those changes. Like for example, rabbits learn that they have to run away really fast to survive. In history, the ones that ran away survived, but the lazy ones got hunted down by the predators. And the ones that survived were the clever, fast ones. And this made generation after generation stronger and better. Darwin's job was researching about animals, and he started thinking about humans as well. Like did humans come to earth just the way we look right now? And did we come from one woman and man? Or were humans creatures that went through evolution just like every animal as well? From the year 1831 all the way to 1851, meaning for 20 years, Darwin studied this topic and he wrote thousands of pages about it. But he was afraid to share his ideas about it. And that is why he really kept it a secret within himself. This story continues until 1858. And until then, Darwin hasn't said a word about evolution. This was until Alfred Russell Wallace contacted Darwin and he told him he came up with the same ideas about evolution and how every creature goes through it. Darwin got scared that Alfred is going to take credit for all this work about evolution and that is why he said let's go together to publish about evolution. When Darwin published this work, a lot of people accepted it and they liked it. But a lot of people got angry. They said absolutely not. We were born just like this and we're not on the same level as animals and we're the children of Adam and Eve. Darwin got lucky because England wasn't under the Catholic Church. If he was, he would get accused of witchcraft and get sentenced to death. It has been over 150 years since Darwin published this, and it's accepted by pretty much all scientists, but no religion. Some people say that this idea is debunked, but not only is it not considered wrong, but through this 150 years, it's gotten stronger and stronger. But the thing to know is, scientists from east to west accept this theory. And this idea has never been considered wrong by them. This was Darwin's evolution theory that we just explained to you guys. We would like to hear your guys' ideas.